Thank you so much for signing up for MerchJar. Your initial data sync can take a few hours and while that's happening, I'm gonna show you around MerchJar. Once you get through the initial account setup, you'll be taken to a page that looks something like this. At the top of every page, you'll find the title bar, which contains the name of the current page you're on, breadcrumb navigation links, and an options button for additional actions based on the page you're on. The sidebar is your primary navigation for MerchJar. To hide the sidebar, click the closed sidebar arrows at the top of the sidebar. And to show it again, hover on the edge of the screen or over the menu button at the top left. When you move your mouse away from the sidebar, it will be hidden again. To pin the sidebar open, hover over the menu icon again and click the pin sidebar button. In the bottom left corner of your sidebar is the account menu. This is where you'll find links to billing, your data connections, our support chat, and documentation. Next to the account menu, you'll see when your ad data was last synced to MerchJar. While your initial data is still completing, you'll see data sync in progress here. At the top of the sidebar is the ad account dropdown. This lets you select the active ad account you want to work with from all the ad accounts that are managed by MerchJar. To choose which ad accounts are managed by MerchJar, you'll use the data connections page under your account menu. Below the ad account dropdown, you'll see the ad account settings for the currently active ad account and the history for all of the automations and actions made by MerchJar for the active ad account. Next, you'll find the three primary features of MerchJar in the sidebar, dashboards, automations, and the ad manager. Dashboards give you an overview of your active ad account or all ad accounts managed by MerchJar and include charts to help you visualize your performance. In the automation section, you'll find our recipes and smart campaigns automation features. Smart Campaigns is used for structuring campaigns and managing keywords between your ad groups. Automatically discover and harvest your best performing search terms and turn them into high performing keywords or automatically negate your non-converting search terms that are wasting your ad spend. Smart Campaigns is flexible and works with any type of campaign structure. Next, we have Recipes. Recipes is our powerful automation engine that automates your routine ad management tasks like bid optimization, pausing non-performing keywords or campaigns, and adjusting campaign budgets. Every account comes preloaded with our starter recipes designed to automate all of your essential ad account maintenance tasks and ready to enable in just a few clicks. Next is the ad manager. Here you'll find all your various advertising data sets such as campaigns, keywords, and search terms. Each data set gives you a table view of performance data for every item across your active ad account. Change date ranges, search your campaigns, ad groups, or keywords, and filter your data by any metric in the data set. Then perform bulk actions like bid optimizations and pausing keywords or campaigns right from here. You can even use save filters to make quick work of your frequently used filters and actions. Within the ad manager and throughout the application, you have the ability to navigate to detailed views by clicking on entities such as the campaign names, ad group names, as well as individual keywords or targets and be taken to their detail page. Just below the title bar on each detail page, you'll find the context bar. This area displays key information and other specific actions for the entity you've selected. Directly below the context bar, you'll encounter a series of performance charts. These visual representations provide a snapshot of the current entity's recent activity and key metrics, giving you insights at a glance. Further down are the data set tables accessible through tabs that organize your data. These tables contain child entities such as ad groups, ads, search terms, keywords, and negative keywords that are associated with the current entity you're on. Here you can utilize search and filter tools as well as perform bulk actions to manage these related items efficiently.